Hello there, I want to talk you through today ETH 2.0 and how you can start staking on Binance.com. So ETH 2.0, ETH 2.0 is the bigger, better, faster, more efficient version of Ethereum. And rather than proof of work, which is essentially the mining that you probably heard of on cryptocurrencies where you can mine cryptocurrencies um, using your computing hardware to solve some sort of mathematical problem, ETH 2.0 uses proof of stake, meaning that you essentially use your Ethereum you currently hold, you essentially stake it, and in return for staking your Ethereum, you're rewarded with additional Ethereum at some percentage rate. It might be 5% a year, 10% a year, that varies. However, you need to have a minimum of 32 Ethereum to have an Ethereum validator on the network. 32 Ethereum as of today on the 31st of December 2020 is nearly $20,000. More than that, more than that. Let me just do the quick calculation here. Um, it's $700 per Ethereum um, times by 32, $22,400 is what you would need. Quite expensive, not everyone has that, um, I know I don't. So, what Binance have said is that we will run a validator, you just give us the Ethereum. And you can start with giving us 0 0.001 at the minimum. So that means it essentially democratizes being able to make a return based on staking for Ethereum. And actually validation, I did look into it, it's quite complicated. There's lots of software and hardware you need to download and know how to work and there's penalties and all sorts is going on there. It's all very complicated. Um, and to be honest with you, unless you have thousands of Ethereum and are super techie, probably best you leave it to Binance to sort out and you just do it this way. So I'll talk you through how to do this. So this is the homepage, as you can see here, Binance.com. You will go to Wallet. You will go to Earn. Then you will go to Locked Staking. And then here you have ETH 2.0 Staking. Perfect. So this is the ETH 2.0 homepage for Binance.com. So, it's the start at the top here. So ETH 2.0, so ETH 2.0, as I said before, is the better, faster, more efficient version of, of Ethereum. And Ethereum has phases. And it kind of links here to a page going through the um, different Ethereum phases, essentially. Um, this is something I suggest you do read uh, to get a bit more detail on, on, on it, essentially. Um, I'm not going to go through all that. I've read it separately. I'm not going to go through all of that. It may not be relevant to you. You may just want to stake it and be done with it. If you really want to get into the nooks and crannies of Ethereum 2.0, please do have a read. But the main thing you need to know is that there are phases. And the initial phase, phase one, will end in about two years. And this is relevant because when you're staking your Ethereum, it is locked until the end of phase one, which could be 18 months, 24 months, to two years essentially. So you can deposit your Ethereum, it will be locked and you'll be making a return, somewhere between five and 20% per annum, which is pretty good compared to what you get into the bank nowadays. But to be clear, you can only get your Ethereum out of the contract once the lockup period is over and that may exceed two years as you can see here and you can't redeem it in advance but they clearly state here so note that however this is the big however and it's actually quite a good thing Binance provides you with BETH so let me explain this this is a little bit complicated but I'm going to explain it took me a little bit of time to get my head around it too but I will explain now 
when you deposit your Ethereum, in return, Binance give you BETH. And that BETH is tradable. You can trade it on the Binance exchange for other cryptocurrencies. They haven't, they haven't said which currency pairs they're gonna have, but essentially you'll be able to get that BETH and trade it. If they, for, say for example, you deposit 10 Ethereum on stake now, essentially on, on Binance, and then the price of Ethereum goes through the roof, you know, it does 100x. And you think, you know what, I need to cash out. That BETH is tradable, so you can get out of that. So you can get out of Ethereum and sell it for other cryptocurrency. They haven't explicitly said which cryptocurrency pairs are going to allow yet. Um, I'm going to assume one will be ETH, that so you will trade your BETH for your ETH, and potentially Tether, potentially um, Bitcoin. We shall see. The other thing to note is one BETH is equal to one ETH. So for every Ethereum you deposit, they will give you one BETH. And one BETH will always be worth one ETH. So I hope that's clear. Second thing to note is your earning distribution. So the return you're making, so when you deposit your one ETH or your 10 ETH, well, however much you deposited, you, you will be rewarded in B ETH. So if the return is 10% per annum and you've deposited 10 Ethereum, you will be given 10 B ETH in return for your 10 Ethereum. And you will be given, if you hold on to that B ETH for the whole year, you will also be given one ETH at the end of the year, mathematically. In reality, you're paid, I think, daily, essentially, your return is paid daily in B ETH. Lastly, you will only be given a return based on the B ETH you hold. So just to be clear, so I'll, I'll give an example for that, for, for what I've just said there. You will only be given a return on the B ETH you hold. So if you have 10 Ethereum deposited and they've given you 10 B ETH, you make a return based on the 10 B ETH you hold, so the 5% based on the 10 B ETH you hold. If you take half of that B ETH and decide to trade it for another cryptocurrency on the Binance Exchange, then from that point forward, you will only receive a return based on the five B ETH you hold. So the returns are based on the B ETH you hold, not the ETH you staked. Once you sell the B ETH, it's the equivalent of selling the Ethereum you originally staked. Another thing to note on the, with, on the B ETH topic is at the end of the lockup period, any B ETH you have, you can swap one for one back for your ETH. So if you deposited 10 ETH and then you're receiving one ETH a year in reward in total, at the end of the two years, you had, tw you had 12 ETH in this example, you then, so yeah, throw. you have 12 B ETH. You would then swap that, those 12 B ETH back for Ethereum at the end of the lockup period. Simple as that. Um, now, the rewards won't be in your normal wallet, in your spot wallet. They'll be, they'll be on the specific ETH page. And at some point, they will move that onto a spot wallet. You have a, you have a wallet in your spot wallet that will have your, your B ETH in there, and then that will be tradable. But initially, you'll only be able to see your, your returns on the specific ETH 2.0 page. So that essentially covers the staking project and how it all works. I hope that's clear. If it's not clear, please ask questions down in the comments. Um, and, and there's lots of Reddit discussions about all of this. I hope I've, I've made that as clear as possible. Um, it's not the simplest thing to understand, but I'll show you through. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stake uh, 0.1 Ethereum. I'll do 0.01 just to not risk too much. 
as an example here. So I have 0 0.01 Ethereum I'm gonna, I'm gonna stake. So I'm gonna press confirm. And then they're gonna make you tick, essentially confirming everything I've just said. That once it's locked, it's locked for the lockup here and you can't take it out. That's the Ethereum, the original Ethereum. But obviously you're gonna get a B ETH in return. Um, the lockup period is could be up to 24 months. Um, I understand the risk associated with B ETH and that you can swap your BE back for Ethereum. And then after the lockup period ends, you'll have to use any BE to unlock your ETH and it's one for one essentially. So I understand all of that. I agree to all of that. Click, 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 click. Confirm. And look, I have staked successfully, which is great. So I've completed the staking process and then we're now back on the Binance.com ETH2 page, which is where we've started and it's all starred out, but essentially you can press the little I there and as you can see, I have one ETH locked, sorry, 0 0.01 ETH, I wish I had one ETH locked, <laughs> 0 0.01 ETH locked. I now have 0.01 BETH, as I explained earlier. And then each day I will see the amount of BETH profit I've made. So that's my staking return. At some point, but even January, that BETH will be tradable and I will be able to see that in my spot wallet, where you see all the rest of your cryptocurrencies. But currently, that's what you can see here. And so just to go, one, 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 go through it one more time, my Ethereum is here, that's what I staked. My BETH position will be equal to my Ethereum position because for every Ethereum I stake, I get the equivalent BETH. And then the profit, so my staking returns will be here in green. And there we go, I've just staked on Ethereum 2.0. Hope you guys can do the same, make some money. Have a good day. Oh, like and subscribe, of course, and comment for any questions. Um, that's it. Have a good, have a good day, guys. Bye.